Hey everybody, it's Josh here again. So I get a lot of really great questions from viewers that I think everybody could benefit from. So I'm gonna to try to do a few Q&A episodes this month. As always, anyone who's watching, I want you to fact check me and call me out if I'm wrong about anything I say in here. And if you have anything to add, like your opinion or something, or thoughts on anything that I said, or you just wanna help the original asker or the question out, please feel free to use the comment section to, to do any of that. These videos are meant to benefit everyone, not just the original asker or the question. So if you have anything you wanna contribute, like please don't hesitate to do so. So today's question is from Nick Rog. He says, I have a question. Originally, I was considering getting the IT degree from WGU, but seeing the direction that IT is going and the fact that the IT degree is largely cert based should I get a computer science degree instead also would the CS degree take less time since there isn't as many certifications to get compared to the IT degree so this is a this is a really good question actually it's a couple different questions so I'll kind of answer it in in two separate parts so the first part being the direction of IT uh, in the future I guess and and how that relates to going for like an IT degree or a computer science degree and then the second part I'll kind of talk about the differences between the IT degree and the computer science degree at WGU in relation to like their time and difficulty to complete each one. So as far as the direction that IT is headed in the future, it's very astute of you to notice that it's definitely changing and evolving over time. I mean, I guess it's always kind of changing, obviously, but it things tend to get like more and more complex as as we're standing on the shoulders of giants, right? So for example, to like to make what I mean by that is to to make advancements in like artificial intelligence, per se, we have to uh, learn a lot of what's already like implemented and able to build on top of that. So things are getting like more and more like kind of complex over time. And the kind of trend for the future is a lot of stuff like artificial intelligence and machine learning and big data analytics, where we can derive like kind of hidden intelligence out of like large subsets of data and like blockchain technology and like cryptography and like all this all this kind of like really complicated stuff um, to, to kind of build on to that it's true like we have to at least have a, like a, a decent understanding of like what's already in place today in order to expand upon or even use like some of these like complicated technologies you need like a really deep like fundamental understanding of computing and sometimes mathematics and that that's kind of where the computer science degree comes into play having said all that I, I just want to say like IT is not really a zero-sum game like even though we're all these like crazy things are coming out with like AI, ML, and like automation, like all this stuff that requires computer science or like a deep fundamental understanding of like computing and difficult mathematics. Just because like all this technology is like emerging doesn't mean there's like no use for IT anymore. Because in order to support like all this stuff, you still need like some kind of infrastructure and like some kind of staff to maintain the infrastructure. And it's it's definitely maintained in a, in a different way today because it takes less people to maintain more stuff. But there's still going to be like you know end user devices like computers and, and laptops and, and cell phones and like data centers and, and networking equipment and security like security controls um, someone needs to design the security program and implement the controls and all that stuff and all of that is like kind of in the realm of IT so regardless of I guess what I'm trying to say like regardless of the direction that IT is heading there's always going to be like some kind of need to, to support the technology and support the users who who kind of use that technology and that's that's where IT comes into play so it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, like you shouldn't what I'm trying to say is like you shouldn't think like oh man like there's so much like automation and stuff coming out like I better not get an IT degree because IT is like it's always going to be there it's always going to change right because we went through that whole like um you know server based thing then we went to virtual machines and we went to like the cloud and like IT persisted it just kind of like changed uh, as as things progressed so as you ask yourself like which degree should I get like CS or IT it just really depends on on what you see yourself doing and like what you want to do in the future like if you want to create stuff or expand on these like really complex technologies that exist today or like come up with something new probably the CS degree is is better to get however if if you just want to kind of work with technology and support the business through technology and support users and that type of thing um, it makes more sense to get the IT degree because the opportunity cost is, is way lower for that one that is it takes like way less time way less energy and if you get it from WGU the the since the time will be shrunk the cost of the degree will be will be much cheaper as well and lastly to this point if someone were to ask me like which degree is better to have like the IT degree or the CS degree like for sure the CS degree is, is way better it will it will expand your base of knowledge for technology in general like quite a bit it's just way better to have but then you just have to remember like the opportunity cost and the difficulty and like the effort and all that required and depending on what you want to do um you, you have to kind of take all of that into account like 
generally speaking, I think most people would agree, like having a computer science degree generally gives you like a higher salary. But in the end, it really depends on on you as a person, because there's there's people who have like a like no degree, right? And they they're they're balling out. And then there's people who have like master's degrees, and they, they just they suck, essentially. So in the end, it kind of depends on you. But just think about what you want to do. And then the stuff you want to do, like pitch, pick the degree that aligns most with that technology, work with technology, support the business, IT, create stuff. And you know, have have like a best in slot, I guess, on your resume, um, computer science degree. So getting into how long it will take to finish the computer science degree versus the IT degree. I know I said in this video that uh, generally speaking, the IT degrees with less third party certs take less time, but that, that doesn't really count for the computer science degree. I probably should have mentioned that in the video. Um, the computer science degree is probably going to take you like at least twice as long as the kind of the generic IT bachelors at WGU. The reason it's going to take a long time is I guess depending on how good your math is right now, like what level you're at. And if you have any programming experience, like these particular classes are going to make it like really difficult for you. Um, like all, all the mathematics pretty much like calculus, um, integral calculus gets, gets like pretty nasty if you're not used to it like discrete mathematics too is pretty hard data structures and algorithms is really hard the very first time you saw it uh, the very first time you see it i mean it was it was quite hard for me it, it's quite difficult and you can get it it just takes time for the human brain to kind of like understand those concepts so it's really it makes it like really hard to brute force and accelerate like you can do with like a, a normal degree at wgu i guess so those are just some things to, to keep in mind like if you have if you have a lot of time and a lot of money and you just want like the best like best in slot degree for for working in technology like you know computer science like it's worth it's worth it to do it uh like if you're maybe if you have a lot of time or you can make time or you really want it um but it's gonna it's gonna take like quite a bit longer like at least at least twice as long in my opinion um i feel like other people might have their opinion on that so please like leave leave comments and like let me know uh, what you think of my assessment on this and also full disclaimer i don't have a bachelor's of computer science yet i have like probably about like half a one um when i was doing my undergrad i i took a lot of like computer science classes um like up to data structures and algorithms and i'm i'm kind of preparing to get into the wgu computer science degree right now um i'm kind of working on calculus like outside of wgu at straighter line so i, I kind of have a, a good feeling um about like the difficulty of the course and all that so i just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there and by the way since we're talking about degree difficulty i i made this video a couple weeks ago it's it's pretty good i talk at length about the difficulty of certain degrees and how people can complete them fast at wgu and it's a pretty uh, interesting video so if you haven't seen that one definitely check it out after this so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say i appreciate you watching this far if i said anything that's weird or doesn't make sense please feel free to call me out in the comments or if you have anything to add that you you think would help or provide value or you just want to say something please don't hesitate use the comment section like say whatever you want really appreciate it uh, but yeah as always if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing helps my channel a lot i, I appreciate you so much for watching this far and yeah i will see you all next time Bye-bye. Nee, nee. Kore dekin no?